Welcome back to another Joy Tour review. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at their new X12 attack support robots. This is the trajectory type. This is the packaging it comes in. Uh, this packaging is a tad bit smaller than what you're used to seeing from the actual figures. So here is a comparison of the packaging. To give you an idea, there's actually two of these new support attack robots. Here's the other one. I actually did a review for the uh, firepower type already, so if you want to check that out, go ahead and look for that on my channel. So this is the packaging that comes in when you first get it. It does come with a wrap in a plastic wrap. I've removed that already, so to save us some time. Um, you guys just want to see the product. You don't want to see me fiddle with paper. So in front of the packaging, we have the X-12 attack support robot trajectory type nameplate here on the left. Joy Toy Battle for the Stars here on the right. Nice image of the uh, robot. These are 118 scale. Done. On the top and bottom, we have a Joy Toy done in black and yellow. The side, we have the X-12 attack support robot uh, in red on both sides. The back, X-12 attack support robot here on the right. First paragraph is product information. Second paragraph is about Joy Toy and accompanying contact information. Here is some little literature for you guys to read, such as uh, this product is suitable for ages 17 and up. So these are more marketed for adult collectibles. Uh, please read these instructions carefully before you open the product. Some components are limited mov movability and could be damaged if inappropriately twisted or bent with excess forces. Excess forces. Hmm. Keep this product away from fire heater or any place with high temperature to avoid deformation. The warning for tricky hazard small parts on the age of three and we have UPC and these are made in China of course. So on the front we have a window box, two pieces of velcro in each corner. Here we have a nameplate at the top, nice photo of the figure figure in this clamshell inside the box. It's really really cool. Let's see what we got. No tape. What it looks like when you take it out of the packaging. Two parts. We have a little insert here. The front of it I guess would be the same images we've seen on the front of the box, just done in black and white. The back is a small assembly guide. Keep away from fire handle with care. Some Chinese at the bottom. Oh, and you know this piece, this piece, and that piece is already pre-assembled, so uh, this is basically shows you can remove it if you want. And then there's the uh, the business end of this robot. So here we go, he's all folded up. We have some nice colors. This is more of a gray with a silver wash for weathering. Kind of type different color in from the uh, firepower type. We have yellows and reds throughout with the grays and silver. Um, there might be some black wash in there. So it does pretty much follow suit with the firepower uh, robot so they look good together on your shelf this piece is interesting these are the pieces here one two and three that shows on this uh, accessory uh, assembly guide here so you can pull those off I'm not sure what they're going for with these they do spin 360 and they're removable I'm not sure if you can use these maybe as like a uh, claymore maybe or a landmine and that kind of sets always for claim more. Well, maybe. So, some options. This piece kind of might think they think of as some kind of a camera or an eye for artificial intelligence, so that uh, Joy can take in data. It is removable. And I bet you know from the other one we just did a review for, you probably can put the business and the rocket launcher here or there. So you can have different heights and different positions for whatever you want it for. I 
overall it looks fantastic we have a water decal here on top it says caution we have some um, water slides I'm betting here for those red and black stripes I don't see any decals there there's definitely some different variation in paint from here to here this is more heavier weather than this side I don't see any, any other uh, water slide decals. The uh, fire power type one had a little more water slide decals than this one apparently. So, let's take a look at one of the legs. How does this work? Um, just be careful whenever you guys take these out. There's the fire power one one and this one kind of feels stiff too. Um, you want to play with it a little bit. Maybe some warm air to or some heat it up. So it looks like um, the legs are on this piece here. Each end has these um, drums. Um, so these do rotate relatively f as accordingly as it's going to allow it due to the sculpt. So it gives you a nice range there. So we're going to come up here and there's a joint there. And then that will go to, that will rotate the uh, 360 also next joint's going to be here with the foot the foot rotates 360 not sure if it does pivot it kind of looks like a well maybe no nah, there's no joint there all rotates right there this will spin but there's no uh up and down on the foot it's actually done right there like you can't articulate it here there's no joint there so it's all done right on this and this yellow little piece here so that is going to be the same articulation I believe for all four legs yeah so let's get those out on both sides that one's a little stiffer than the other ones all these do also do rotate down when it's tight. They will rotate like that also at 360. So that's cool. So now you have the in and out like this. And then you also have the um, like this. Okay, that's pretty cool. See if we can get it level. This is definitely a lower attack toward. It's more to the ground. Let's see here. Um, this piece does come down. Yep. Not sure how that would be. Maybe just for like heavy firing, maybe. I don't know why. Kind of goes down like that. You got options for, you know, maybe help raise it up to get it uh, to fire more upward into the air. For maybe anti aircraft position. Pretty cool. There's a lot of articulation in these legs. So let's just find a, a position that we want to work with here and uh, see what we got. Okay, that's, uh, we'll go with that for now. A lot of articulation for this little guy. Just this will raise we'll go backwards and then if you remove this which we're going to do right now pig so we can look at options here for our uh, so it gives you even a lower lying uh, droid it's more higher than the back so here is our rocket launcher type uh, get some gray I like the silver weathering here on the, along the edges 
It's really, really cool. We have an X there, which is awesome. Uh, we have an 04 here. Uh, just 04th Legion. Too many of the panel here is phenomenal. It looks so realistic. This is more grayish, more not really metal looking, it's more grayish. Looks like a sandstone, not really sandstone, but like a, what do they call that gray color. Um, it's really nice. Nice sculpting. Top of it looks really good. Now, I've first seen the product shots of this. I, now, um, I guess you could do two things with this, in my opinion, if you wanted to. Um, you could use this as a rocket launcher, obviously. This can be your exhaust, and you come around to the front. Then we have our little rockets inside. This flips all the way up. Of course, if you fire, exhaust comes out the back. You have four little rockets that come out. These do not fire. There's no... Uh, Spring loaded actions are just a uh, sitting in there, so they are really are uh, sculpted pretty decently. For a little, these are so small, barely hold on to them. Let's see if I can get my hands off of there. Nice sculpt work on those things. You get four of those, they just sit in there. Um, I'm gonna shut this for a second. Uh, I want to get back to that one part I was talking about. Um, so the second idea was like, okay, what is this? Is this a uh, a dual-sided rocket launcher, but then that doesn't really fit in there very well. So I thought, well, okay, well maybe uh, you could use it as a cannon. Use this in as a cannon in, this in as a rocket launcher in, but then, I mean, realistically, how much sense does that make? Because you know, there's no exhaust, basically. But um, they got options, and options are good. So on the bottom here, we have a the peg that goes into the top here. This does slide down. There is a hidden handle. So your figures can hold this rocket launcher. But before we get to that, let's see how this thing looks on here. I mean, look at that weathering on there. That's crazy. It's really white. So this would have been the uh, port that had the eye. I'm calling it the eye because I don't know what this stuff is. There's no labels for this stuff. I'm just trying to do the best I can. So I'm going to push all right down because that's really, really tight. So in that position, it kind of looks like it's firing towards the ground. And that's, you can't um, really push down. There's a stop there. So, um, maybe I would not be, if I was you, put this in here and try to articulate this because you're going to break that little peg off. That is super tight. Yeah, I see it. So you can put it there, but it looks more towards the ground. Oh, kind of goes straight. I mean, yeah, it's going to be definitely uh, some danger close explosive if uh, you do that position. But if we raise this up like this, and I'm going to return this eyepiece back. I don't know what the, I don't know what that is. That looks cool though. And we can put in the peg in this top piece. Very, very tight. And see, that's more of a straight attack there. And how that scales with uh, a George Way figure. It's pretty cool. I'll open this up. That's good. Overall, this is a really interesting droid. There's a lot of articulation. Um, if you had a lot of time, I'm sure you can come up with some pretty interesting poses. Um, the range. I kind of wish there was a joint here so you could bring down this leg. And if you could do that, you definitely could raise up, you know, get a higher position for a uh, more range of uh attack or support basically because uh, you could bring these legs down and you could be sitting like this but unfortunately there's not any articulation in that way 
you go this way, yeah, it's not going to do you any good. No. Nope. Yeah, so if you get one, play around with the articulation. You might, might be able to come up with something more than um, I'm doing for the review. If I kind of come up with anything else, I'll maybe put it in an upcoming review if, uh, if I discover something different um, overall. So really cool. So let's take a look at, uh, so we can just back to where it was, what this looks like inside of a figure's hand. Man, it's up tight. Yeah, be very careful with that pig. It's definitely going to rub off some paint. So I'm going to bring in one of my Russians I just did a review for. Check that out. These are really awesome. So what we want to do is bring down the uh, handle piece like so. Um, so we have two ends. So depending on what you're, you're, you want to do with yours, um, these guys can hold these. Like there was no effort. I just did that like nothing. That's what that looks like. He can stand there. I just gotta get his feet straight. What I find interesting about these, um, I wanna take this piece off for a minute. Um, these are weighted, in my opinion, really, really nice. Like, look at the figures holding these things. They're not like front heavy, top heavy, back heavy, and not gonna knock your figures over. I mean, I, I first put this gun in his hand on, on the video for the uh, firepower type. I studied my bike nothing. It, it was no issue. It perfectly balanced. Or at least with these Russian figures. I mean, that could be different for other figures, but for these Russians, man, they're beautiful. They work beautiful with them. I just poured out his hand. Uh, well, I might as well take a look at this then. If you guys wanted to um, use these for the, the reverse end for any reason, you know, if you want to pick up. You know, maybe two and have a different type. So let's see if he holds it like that. He kind of holds it like this. Kind of weird. To me, it's kind of weird. I will, I will not be doing this. But um, the product images kind of show some of that. Unless I say to say error. This is really cool. I don't know. This is definitely going to enhance your figures or enhance your the new dial that you see behind here for the new Mecha Depot pieces. You can have these things in your armory or as a guard for your base. Looks really interesting. These are really really awesome pieces. I think I do like these more than I thought I was going to. So. I want to show you guys on the real, real quick as an update. And of course, I like doing bonuses in my videos for you guys. So I still have my fire pipe, fire type, firepower type, and it's, uh, I'm calling a, a turret mode. So this is a top piece. So this is kind of like an update. You literally can walk over, come over, put your peg in a hole. And he can use that as a base to help hold that gun. I didn't push it. Obviously, you can push it down in if you want to. But you can have a soldier a guard, in, a, in a guard position holding that wire. Watching that, um, like that uh, turn position. That's really cool. Now, you can't do that for these guys because um, he's got to hold the handle. So... And then I'm guessing, you know, it makes sense to where that's the trigger. So you don't really have to take this off to use it as, you know, a standalone weapon or have it as a turn or robot weapon. But it's really, really interesting. So if we need to put this back down like this. Just popped it on very easy. And then if you had a figure behind here, there's really nowhere for the figure to hold. And you probably wouldn't want to be back here anyway with the back blast. So maybe on a side or something. However you see fit. But really interesting. Let's see if we can take this guy off. 
he does they do all these really really well i'm really surprised on all these these figures hold these so i'm gonna this one here has three different uh positions uh please check out the review for this and you'll be able to see those uh, um, different positions so i'm just going to do like a comparison of the two together i'm not going to uh, put these in the other two positions you know, for comparison this actually gets taller than the actual figures in a in one position so just about up to here so it will be taller than this but in its uh turret mode that i'm calling it turret mode it's about the same height, but it will get this one will get taller than that one. It can obviously be because there's no that joint that's missing that I was talking about. So these are cool. Um I definitely like these more than I thought I was going to. I'm glad I actually picked them up. Retail price for these um about 26 bucks, I think. 25, 26 bucks. From China, they're probably gonna be around thirty-five bucks here in the United States. So, on a, on a kind of a full thumb, you're paying about an average. Remember, guys, these are on averages, about ten dollars more in it for the states. So, I highly recommend you pick up. There's a particular uh, place in China that sell these. I'm not going to give out um, free recommendations for companies because. <laughs> Yeah, I, I pay for my own collectibles. Um, and if you're a George Ray collector, you know what that is. So they get you; they will get it to you in three days, three to four days at the most. Here from from China to the United States. Really cool. How do you recommend them? For me, I may consider picking a couple more of this one up. Because this one you got you can use it as a robot. You can you can have these guys just sitting around your, your base. You know, and have guards or sentries in your watching towers or put them up in a tower here, which I'm out of focus, but if you see my reviews for uh, the new mech depots you'll know what that looks like. Really awesome like it uh so my final thoughts um very nice oh they're all stiff when you take them out of the box um from once you start playing with them a little bit you can tell the joints become more fluent paint's really nice beautiful uh, and overall nice design very interesting uh i really wish they had an extra joint here but then you know you run into risk of getting too much articulation and it becomes more of a floppy piece but it would have been nice to have it raise it up a little higher in the front at least. Um, the only really bad thing is the... These are... I like this. There's nothing bad about it. But you could, these are definitely prone to being lost. So be very careful. I don't lose you. These are super small. Nice. Uh, you got all that nice options on both pieces. You got lots of options off different positions. Um however you want to make it for your storylines or your universes that you have going on in your collection um let me know what you guys think down in the comment about these uh, if you like them if you don't like them if you're buying more than one if you're just going to pick them up and use them how you're going to use them you know if you want to share with the community give uh if you want to share that way people have different ideas and maybe they can you guys can give them something an idea that they haven't thought of or something awesome so if you like this video please like share and subscribe um i will be doing some more joy toy stuff coming up soon so you don't want to miss that uh kind of a sneak peek in the near future we will be doing the last three of the 10th cavalry unit they won't uh, just be the standard we've already done it too heavy on our channel uh so, upcoming next would be the three remaining 10th Cavalry. I have two more of the Mecha Depot sets. The meeting area. And then I think the Mech... Tom, the Mech area, or I forget what they call it. It's like where you would work on your Mech. Like a work, working area for your Mech. Those look interesting. 
definitely uh, want to see how that scales with the uh, Own Knights Legion Fear Max 1 and 2. 2 is set to be released here next month, I believe. So you're going to want to subscribe to make sure you get all that content provided for you. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you in our next review.